from the makers of Glow Up Girls, we have a brand new fashion doll line called Love. Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, yes, we have a brand new fashion doll line to discuss. So let's get into it. Now we first got to see of these dolls back in New York Fashion Week where they debuted with models actually dressing up as each of the dolls and characters. Back then, we also got a little peek at the prototypes of these dolls with the faces looking very different like the face ups as we'll see they look a lot different now on the actual final products now the actual dolls themselves now have also been found on walmart.com with the price being $29.99 for all four of the new characters and new for fashion First packs up, we have harper here and as you'll see with all of the four characters the boxes the packaging definitely feels very empty like the doll is in the middle and i do like the layout with like the background like the design of the background is different for every character um I, I guess like the whole purpose of the box and the, why it's so spacey is because they're trying to make it look like a magazine cover with like the branding on the side of the box you know and then we have like the little text that is unique for each character uh but but still like it does feel very empty and like you're not really getting your money's worth because remember you're paying almost 30 bucks for this doll um and she just has like a stand in an outfit and uh nothing else <laughs> it's so simple so you know it's kind of like a hit or miss and also with like how many pieces you're getting that's definitely different also with like the dolls like each character has like depending on which character obviously more or less pieces and i think that also contributes to you know like if they are worth that much money you know? now harper's thing is that she's into like classical vintage mixing and matching uh so she's wearing a blue dress here with a polka dot uh print it's not a print actually it might be just a print but it kind of looks like elevated it looks like actually like maybe texturized um that dress seems to be two layers and then she's wearing um this golden belt and uh i mean the dress is like one piece it's really a simple layout for her outfit but the boots are also like there you know i feel like overall with like all of these dolls the main vibe i'm getting is like 2000s disney channel you know like it's just giving me hannah montana it's giving me like wizards of waverly plays it's giving me all of those different um shows from you know way back then because like they were always wearing such specific of the time outfits and, and looks that just are dated nowadays and i feel like it's such i it's such irony because they debuted on you know newer new, new york fashion week and like the models actually wore versions of these outfits as we'll see which with each character more you know some looked better than others realized and it's just like why i don't get it like i mean i guess it's like fashion but like i don't know i, I don't think these styles and like outfits are really like trendy right now i mean like it's not really like uh, like it's not giving <laughs> it just feels like old <laughs> it feels like they forgot to release these dolls for like 20 years and now they're just releasing them anyway it's like what it just feels like it's the wrong time and, and place um or maybe that's the whole point maybe they're supposed to like be a throwback line of like oh yeah remember the 2000s <laughs> i don't know um but harper i think is more of one of i think harper is really cute you know um that the the face of you know we'll take we'll take a closer look when we actually see inbox like real life pictures of these um but the faces actually look better in person i i, I want to say they do give me mermaid high vibes and they do look very similar to the glow up girls um but yeah i just i don't love the faces but it could be better it could be worse but it you know it's fine um the hairstyle is really simple and i think you know harper is is pretty cute she's pretty cute that dress is not bad i, I think she's one of, one of the more tame ones uh, of of the main four because she her outfit's not like atrocious it's just kind of it just feels a very very dated you know next we have autumn whose style is a very bohemian inspired and apparently she has a very warm uh, a character personality so that's uh, cute obviously it's giving me Yasmin like right away uh, and Harper kind of gave me um, I mean Harper's Yasmin kind of looks like Yasmin too but like Autumn here actually has Yasmin's style but even with the bandana interesting 
and the boots too um looking very similar to yasmin's first series doll but the coloring is different obviously and uh autumn looks very different i think for yasmin at least it worked yeah, by the way yasmin from brats if i'm uh, sorry confusing um but autumn here i just i don't know like the color is maybe in the layers of pieces it's not working working for me like i feel like it's just too much and the boots you can't even see them like they're just hidden away it's like such a waste um and then like the the skirt i don't know i guess it's bohemian right i maybe i'm just not really like into bohemian style to begin with but like i think whenever i got a yasmin doll from brats and she's like bohemian she's the bohemian styled run styled one right like i think she's always really cute um maybe not as bohemian inspired i guess i don't know but autumn here um the headband the different prints i'm just like oh okay girl slow down <laughs> like yeah i don't know she's fine but like she's definitely like my least favorite out of the next four. we have london now she's the one who has like the experimental style she's very out there like always trying out new styles and aesthetics etc um and at first that definitely was true like i think her outfit's definitely like very all over the place and like very out there uh but i think she grew on me because i look at her now and i'm like okay i like her i like I, like i i mean i think because like i like the pieces that she's wearing individually a lot i don't know if i would pair all those pieces up in one outfit like she's wearing it but i do like her pieces individually like the pink shirt the ruffled shirt the boots the little fluffy uh shorts whatever like i think it's pretty cute uh but like all together like this i think it's not like the best you know outfit uh but it could be worse i think it's a cute look definitely um and i think it like it grows on you for sure um her hairstyles also very nice and um i think she has pro probably one of the better um you know like overall outfits in in like all in all because she has different pieces she has multiple accessories um and her face is also pretty pretty not bad so that's that's something and lastly probably my favorite we have a brooke she is apparently the bold one and she has an edgy uh style as well now she's my favorite one because i think the outfit unlike with the other girls uh i think i like her whole outfit complete as it is like i think it works kind of well i like the silhouette i like the the colors um the print on the pants um it's like business chic but also like not like typical business it's like a little flair you know um then the shoes as well and the face is pretty good um i think she's like yeah she at least to me she's the best one out of the four just because style wise look wise the color is not too loud like it's it's just i think it's just right you know and it doesn't feel too outdated which is what i feel like um with harper kind of is the case autumn she's all over the place london i guess it's her thing to be experimental but still um with brooke at least i can feel like you know it's like yeah maybe it's dated but like it works for me <laughs> at least well done you know uh and yeah i think overall with these love dolls you can definitely see a lot of inspiration taken from the brats dolls i mean brooke is obviously jade chloe you know autumn and in uh, london with uh sasha and harper is obviously a yasmin knockoff so um i mean you know they're not really stealing because nothing's really original anymore if you think about it but still you know they're kind of taking away from the um the archetypes of the different brats um you know characters and you know it's it's just very obvious like it's just it, it's yeah it's very obvious <laughs> and we're also getting four individual fashion packs respectively belonging to each character um the price for these is 12.99 i believe and you're just getting you know one outfit but i think it's a good price because as we'll see um the materials the quality is definitely there and i think um with these fashion packs i i, I think i prefer two of these fashion packs over some of the original outfits that the dolls are actually wearing which says a lot i still think like with the with all the prints um and the vibrant colors and like this the specific silhouettes and styles i do feel like it's still giving like heavy 2000s vibes and like disney channel um adjacent uh but it's at least better and at least you know with these fashion packs you can also it's better and it's easier to also mix and match then with the different pieces you have to create um you know a better suitable look that you prefer um so yeah i think for the price are paying the fashion packs um look like good quality and i think you know i think they look good they're, they're good i think I, I prefer you know autumn's fashion pack harper 
um, Brooks fashion pack with the green, very loud. Yeah, in London, I love hers. Um, so yeah, I think overall the fashion packs really good. And I mean, even just like even just getting fashion packs in general, like with the launch of a new doll line, that's saying something. Like that's that's a really good thing. Here we have some real life pictures of Brooke in London by the creator of Monster High himself, Garrett Sander on Instagram. We can see here that in person they definitely look really good, and they also have stands. Yeah, they include stands that have actually personalized little um, name tags on the front. You know, granted those name tags are just stick curse <laughs> on the front of the sand of the base um it would have been better obviously if they were not stickers and if they just had like the names embedded into the stand or like painted on or like you know printed on it's a sticker which definitely feels like a little bit cheap because you are paying almost 30 bucks for this doll and it's great that they have stands when barbie doesn't include stands rainbow high dolls not all of them include stands anymore lol surprise omg you know etc it's a gamble nowadays with fashion dolls if they include stands or not so it's great that they have stands but still including the sticker when it, you're paying almost 30 bucks it feels wrong and by at Veni Vidi Dolly we have some more real life pictures of actually all four dolls undressed and also seeing more you know close-ups of the faces so you know with Autumn here I think in person um she still looks like a mess. she looks like a mess to me I'm sorry maybe I'm just not getting the bohemian style here but I just think like all the prints the the silhouette like with the frills it's just like what is what is going on I'm confused <laughs> but I think the face actually in person looks better i think yeah the face looks cute um i don't know why but i still like i they just remind me so much of mermaid high like the eyes specifically it's giving me mermaid high which is so funny because far out toys did not make mermaid high i think mermaid high was made by a spin master i believe i don't remember but um not far out toys so it's definitely like very uh, specific how the eyes it really remind me of mermaid high like really specifically mermaid high <laughs> next we have harper here and she's actually really cute in person and i forgot to mention this but it seems like they all have painted nails which is so sweet that is cute I appreciate that but we cannot get painted like accessories like the they each doll has like a belt or like a choker a necklace you know bracelets but none of them are painted with any detail like i think that's such a shame um well hang on some of the purses are painted but like i think with the necklaces like they're all just one color and it does let leave them feeling like very cheap um so i, I just wish that more accessories um like necklaces and stuff were like painted like to make them look more fancy because with the vibe they're going for here um that would make sense but i think the faces even though they do remind me of mermaid high i think they are executed way better like the proportions like the eyes um the makeup is like so well done like there's no pixelation whatsoever there's like it's a really nice it's like really well done like i don't know maybe it's just the pictures here but uh it just makes the eyes and the faces look very detailed and like very clear which i think just it looks they look really good uh like it just looks like really high definition <laughs> The actual faces look like really good quality uh the the face up the, the face screenings um it just looks really well done i'm really impressed i just wish that maybe they would have had some side glances or like some you know like different expressions with the eyebrows and stuff because i feel like you know they 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 do have good you know makeup executed face screenings but um i feel like they do lack in individuality and like expression with each of the characters um london here also looks really cute the pink top is a little bit see-through so it's a little bit of a shame um the boots i feel like would make it hard for her to pose her knees but you know i guess they look fine i don't know if i like the boots um but yeah i, I think london looks really cute here with the makeup choices as well and lastly again we have a brook and she's yeah she looks great in person i think her pictures so far have just made her look even better her expression looks really sweet um the makeup once again so cute the hair looks really well done um the makeup uh, the, the the outfit looks really good as well uh i still like it a 
lot. So yeah, I can't wait to see. Maybe if I saw her shoes a little bit more, um, I would like her outfit even more. Um, but I like the pants. I don't know why the pinstripes. It just looks really fun. And then the like the the leather looking jacket with like the the silhouette and like the the flare. Um, it just looks really fun. And I would love to get her if these dolls become available, you know, for worldwide fans. Because I'm not sure if they will be available for people outside of the U.S. Because if these are, you know, well, like a Walmart exclusive, I don't know if they'll be available on, you know, Amazon websites. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> and we do have a size comparison here between a Rainbow High doll and a Monster High doll. And shockingly, these new love dolls seem to be really short, <laughs> really small overall in comparison to other dolls like their heads are much smaller the torsos everything seems to be much smaller in scope uh, about these new dolls not a bad thing specifically but um it definitely reminds me of equestria girls you know back in the day from hasbro um definitely gives me that vibe but what they lack in size they make up with in body diversity because uh, shockingly it seems that every doll here has a unique body type now granted they would be really hard to tell them apart when they're all fully clothed but once you undress them you can clearly see that they each have a unique body type um it's it's very subtle but it's definitely there and i think it's uh very well done and oh my god they have painted toenails oh my god and yeah that i guess does it for my you know first look here at the new love dolls but i'm curious to see what you all think of this new doll line uh, the fashion packs as well the pricing and like the quality i think the quality is there because they painted the toenails which like that's so rare with fashion dolls like you only see that with integrity toys and like maybe some barbie dolls and like um some omg dolls but like yeah like not even rainbow high ever got to that level like so painted toenails definitely like feel, for me feels like oh okay these are going to be something different uh <laughs> i know it's so stupid but like yeah um i do wish that some of the you know accessories the jewelry um had more painted details um wasn't just like a big chunk of gold or you know like it just makes it feel a little bit more more elevated you are paying almost 30 bucks so i mean you you kind of expect that you know quality um but i guess not i guess the budget went into the fabrics for the actual outfits being you know you know the really good choices um i don't know the faces are fine i i do like the details but i, I just wish that they had more expression and maybe side glances um the hair seems to be fine the possibility i forgot to talk about the possibility but the articulation but um they even have ankle articulation which is surprising um otherwise they do have the you know standard points of articulation the elbows shoulders hands um the the, the knees and uh, hips uh and even to, uh, like the torso that's interesting um yeah so good articulation uh overall good outfits even if i feel like some of the choice choices are a little bit dated um but i i definitely see potential here um and i feel like brooke if i could get her i would like to get brooke um she's really cute and the fashion packs also look really good um i think yeah this could be something i don't know maybe it'll last longer than glow up girls i feel like glow up girls just kind of like never became anything they even had like a whole cast playing characters right so it's just like yeah never it never became anything and never stuck um so let's hope and see um that this new love dolls will become something better so i see potential but what do you think i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses